Welcome to lesson five of learning MATLAB. Um, today we're going to load a data file into MATLAB and make a script that does it as well. So what I did was I took uh, um, one of the uh, linear regression um, data files, 2015-001. I added a C to the front of it, and so that's going to be uh, of, that's going to be an important um, a point uh, coming up here. I'll talk about why I added the C later. It's really easy to do this in um, MATLAB to load a file. You just say load um, C 2015 001.txt. In comes we know that it's a, we know that it's two columns, ten points each, two columns, and lo and behold, now there's a new matrix here with the title of the data file minus the .txt extension. So the name of the variable is the data file, and uh, and it's 10 by 2. To extract out the x, and this is an x, the first column is x and the second column is y, this is for linear regression. And so um, to extract the first and second columns, you just say x equals the, the, the matrix c2015001.txt, oops, not without .txt, all the rows, first column, that's how that works. So colon means colon without inputs. Um, it's a the way it does it is the way you uh, reference a matrix is um, row comma column. So this is and colon means all of them. So colon means all the rows one in the first column, and y means. So now you see x. Is, um, it actually gives the values in there, but x is a ten by one, and y equals c two thousand fifteen. So there's your one all the rows second column. works right so um, uh, so that's the that's the notation for how do you load a data file way easier than a for loop right it's just you know load cut one column at a time it's easy <clears throat> and then I could plot it plot X X I Ugh, that doesn't look that good it's a line plot it's not I, I really because this is calibration data I don't want to see the line that it kind of makes I kind of want to do the regression line through it that's next time I want to do the regression line through it and um, uh, um, and look at the actual data points themselves so how do you do that in in MATLAB the way to do that is you give an XY pair then afterwards you can give it what you want so I just want it to be little circles that's O if you want to know what the, and now you see the data points. If you want to know how to how any function in MATLAB works, you can do help. So I pairs or x x y s triplets can be followed. Interesting. So you can. Um, so the, the S is the triplet, right? So help linear plot XY plus the XY thing, plot XY S, where S is a character string, and character strings in MATLAB are single quotes. You can give it a different, you can set the color, you can set what type of symbol it is, you can set what kind of um, line that you have, dash, dot, dash, dotted, and then don't put none, just put nothing, and it will put no line. That's what I did. So I didn't say what color it was. I just said I want a circle, right? So that's how um, in every every command that you have has a help function to it. You can read it in in here in the command. Also, um, there's help in um, you know in general up here on the top too. But I just type out help in the name of the command. Good. So that's um, uh, so. Um, so that's how you load a data file, right? Um, what if I change the name of this? So I'm going to go change. I'm going to clear all this out. And what if I went back to here and changed the name back to just what it was, which was 2015. Now it's back to 2015. So now I'm going to say, um, load 2015001.txt. It didn't give me a variable name that started with 2015. It had to put a, a it had to put a letter in front of it. Why is that? The rules for following 
naming variables in MATLAB are the same as that for C. Case sensitive, can't start with a number. All those rules, no spaces. All those rules um, apply to MATLAB as well. All the rules for naming variables applies to MATLAB just the same way that it applies to, um, uh, to, applies to C. So now I would have to say x equals x. 2z1, 5z1, 1 comma, 1. Why is that? All caps. It says, do you mean x? I sure do. If it corrects me. Look at that. Red or cyan, cyan circles. Let's make cyan circles. I can't, oh, you can't even see it, right? That stinks. Let's not do that. Let's make them red. Yeah, you can see red circles. Good. Okay, so now the only thing to do, the only thing left to do, and I'm going to go back to here and make it C again, C for calibration. That's why I did it that way. Is to um, uh, is to do this in a script. The only thing left to do is do is to do this in a script. One last thing about um, uh, scripts is the way you comment them is with the percent symbol. Good. So they save it, control S. Notice when I, if I change it, right, you see a little star right here, the star after M. So now it's been changed. I didn't do anything. I just added a space and then took away a space. So I didn't change any functionality, but it's still changed. And you always want to save it before you try and run it. So I control S and then the little star goes away. Take that away. And then just to run it, I go script two. All right. Um, next time, we're going to actually redo the linear regression um, uh, program here in MATLAB. That's next time.